Hey, Jay Sean, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. Um, so some of the wide receivers had talked about just putting in time this summer, um, you know, with Talia and Lance um, and just kind of establishing that uh, chemistry and connection. What was that experience like uh, for you this summer, just working with them and um, how has that relationship started to form? Um, it, was, it was definitely good. Uh, like just, especially like with Lance and, and Talia, both, they, they're both very hard workers, which is like what you need at that position. And, and they both were, being down our doors and texting us, calling us, like, when can we get in the indoor? When can we go through? Like, it was almost every day it felt like it was one of them texting or calling me, like, let's go through, let's go do something, let's run routes, let's do just do top of the routes if you don't feel like running, or let's run intermediate routes because my arm is, is just a little sore. So, like, it was just cool, like, to see that, and, and it was cool, like, to know that they, they actually wanted that bad, that, like, they Every day going through this pandemic, they were trying to get the right, right amount of numbers to where we wouldn't be over a limit. So we could actually do it and do it the right way and get good work in. So it, it was good. It's, it's been a learning experience for me and them, and I, I'm enjoying it. And just as a follow-up, like, is that something that is kind of unique to have in football from your experience? So, like, you know, have a quarterback who's, you know, texting you just every day trying to get that work in? Yeah, which I, I've kind of dealt with that the whole time I've been here, except last year when I was hurt, like with Pig and Kasim prior to now, like they, they would always be on the same thing. Like, let's go through it. Let's go do something. We, can, we could be working on something. We can look at some film. We go over the playbook. Like, it, it was always something. So I'm, I'm enjoying that part. It, it's, 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 definitely, it's definitely a blessing to be back out there with these guys. Thanks, Jay. Sean, next up, we'll go to Emily. Hey, Jay, Sean. Um, what, what was it like last year, I guess, from a mental and emotional perspective more than anything, watching the, the group of receivers you have at Maryland kind of continue to get better and, and when, you're, when you're physically not able to be part of that? Um, it was actually great. Like, I feel like it was, it, was, it was like I was learning almost through them. Like, I was getting – I was getting my sophomore reps like with them, almost like in a in in a, in a uh, meeting room. I mean, like just being able to watch them go out there and and go hard every day and just get better. Like actually seeing it off the field, like I'm like when you're on the field with them, you can see it, but it's not as noticeable when you're off the field and you're like you just sitting back and literally watching. Like I like just watching the progress of the whole room, like and, and the room come together. It, it was it was actually cool to see. It was tough for me. Like, I wanted to be a part of it every day. Like, it was so hard. Like, I almost wanted to ask Coach about it. Like, I, I couldn't – like, it was hard for me to go to practice. It was, it was like – I don't know. It, was, it just wouldn't sit right with me being out there, like, and not being able to do anything, like, knowing that I, there was nothing I could do. Like, I couldn't even get out there and jog if I wanted to. So, like, it it was cool for me, like like I said, just to get to see them outside looking in, like, and, and, and watch them, like, every day get better. And it, it was great to watch. And, and just logistically, when when were you back to hundred a hundred percent? What month? Uh, about a, about a month ago. Okay. Do you feel good, knee wise? Yeah, I, I feel I feel great. I, I'm just I'm actually just happy to be out there. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm just happy to be out there. Finally get the pads on. This is the longest I haven't played football ever since I started playing football. So I'm just blessed for to have the opportunity to be be back out there. Alex Flum, please unmute. With everything going on, um, you know, this season means even more to everyone because they're grateful for the chance to play. But with you coming off of this injury, how much does it mean to you to just know that you're going to be back there on the field playing in game action? Uh, it, it, it's hard to put it in words, honestly. Like, I'm, I've literally been talking to my mom, my teammates. Like I, like, I sit there and, like, just tell them, like, I'm just so happy to be back out there, like, I don't like, I know we play in like three and a half weeks, but I'm just happy that I got to be back in pass for the first time since the since my injury. So like that, that's really been the biggest thing for me is just having the opportunity to be back out there. And then with everything going on, it was like, almost like I was looking at it like, dang, I won't be able to play football for two whole years. Like that'll be two years off. And, and, and now that I have this opportunity to play now, it's, it's just, like I said, it's a blessing. We're all blessed to be able to do this. Alex Stacy, please unmute. Hi, Sean. Thanks for um, thanks for taking a few minutes to do this. 
Um, so I know obviously you, you, uh, you've, you're back now uh, and you got to put those pads on yesterday. I know they'd been doing uh, not padded practices. So kind of just uh, could you walk me sort of through that feeling and sort of, you know, how it was just initially sort of testing out the, uh, testing out the knee, um, you know, even if it was just in sort of light drills and now that you're sort of getting into the full scale workouts, you know, how you're feeling, how you and the team are feeling going forward. Uh, I feel, I feel great. I want to, I, I think the medical staff here, the athletic training staff, I meet here every day. Like I, I'm, I'm so thankful for them for pushing me so hard and, 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 and taking such great care of me throughout this process. And I feel like if it wasn't for them. I wouldn't, I, I don't think I would be where I'm at. Um, but with, with the guys, it's, it's, I think it's just good that we are back out there and, and, and to play and be together. And, uh, I feel like they, they, they wanted to see me back out there as much as I did. So I feel like it, it's, it, I feel like we're going to, like, we, we've started to come together with all these non padded practices and now we finally get to. So, like, we've all been through this kind of process together. And I feel like that's, that's brought us a little tighter and a little closer as a, as a group. I don't know if that answers your question. But. No, that does. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, we'll go to Sharla McBride. Sharla? Hey there. Um, I asked Cortez a similar question. I know you guys are thrilled to be back out there. We're happy to see you guys back out there, but you guys are playing in the middle of a pandemic and things are very different this year. You know, coaches wearing masks and I know you guys have to social distance. What for you has been the biggest challenge of getting back out there and playing football and, and also going to school uh, during a pandemic? Uh, the biggest thing for me is just, just knowing that, that and believing that what the, uh, the, the athletic training staff and medical uh, staff put together the plan they put is uh is, is good for, that's going to keep us safe that's the it's been the biggest thing for me is just knowing that uh because this that we do we are putting ourselves at risk but it as long as i feel like we we follow the, the guidelines that that we have set in place uh here we'll, we'll be fine and that's that's been the biggest thing is just going like the back and forth was kind of hard for me and uh like i said before like now that they finally uh set a date it is it's, it's been been kind of, I've been feeling a little better about it since then. Go to Daniel next. Hey, Jay, Sean, I appreciate you doing this. Um, I wanted to ask, um, I guess, could you just kind of like talk us through or walk us through a little bit of just what that rehab process like? And because the pandemic did come, you know, early this year, I mean, was your um, was your rehab affected in any way? And just that's all how? Um, it was. It was. Basically, so like when when it happened, I had to wait a couple of weeks. I had surgery, and uh, I had surgery, and I couldn't walk for a couple of weeks. Then I started to walk. Then it was from walking to to a light jog, then jogging to trying to run, and then that that probably got me to like about January, like February. I want to say January, February when I started like actually jogging. Um, <clears throat> and I like that's right when the pandemic. I want to say it started to come about. So uh, it, it affected me because when, when I went home for spring break, expecting to only be there for a week or two, or maybe like we were going to get a week extra because of the pandemic. Uh, I plan, like I, I found a trainer down there and I was working with him for like a week. And then they called us and told us that we weren't coming back. So then that's when it was kind of tough having to uh, find a trainer that was, that like I was comfortable with, like, um, and it was doing things that I kind of like I liked and needed for for my need to get get to where I needed to go, and I I want to thank the the training staff here like they they also like I would send them the, like I would send them the options and they would like let me know what they thought would be best for me and, and getting back to where I needed to be. So I feel like that that was like the biggest effect that had on me where it, it was hard kind of at first when I like I worked out with one guy for a week and then I kind of started working out with like one of my best friends. Um, and we were like filling up gas cans and doing squats with gas cans and walking them down the road as if like we were holding weights. Like we, we were we were kind of making a lot of stuff up, just trying to make the best of it because we couldn't we didn't have anywhere to go. So that that was really the, the biggest impact that had on me. All right, thank you. Next up, we'll go to Dave Preston. Dave, please unmute. Dave? You said Dave Preston, right? I did, but Gins, you okay. can go while you're unmuted. 
Preston's here. Preston's here. Sorry, I I, un, I turn on the mic, which is not the same as unmuting the mic. Okay, uh, let's talk a little bit about the quarterback competition. Uh, obviously, uh, it's still a ways away from opening day, but how important do you feel it is for this team to have a number one going in uh, entrenched earlier rather than later? And if you could compare and contrast what uh, Talia and uh, Lance bring to the table. Um. I don't know. Uh, that's not really my call. So I, I'm, I'm going to work hard. They're going to work hard day in, day out, regardless of who it, who the number one is whenever that time comes. Um, but it's, it's, I think it's good that we're all getting reps with everybody. So it's, it's good that, that we, that they're able to do that to where <clears throat> just certain guys aren't getting reps with just one guy. And, and I feel like we're all getting an equal amount of reps with both. So we, we get to see both. And, and, and I, it's hard to compare because they both do a lot. They both throw the ball great. They both can run, and 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 I feel like that's that's what what's needed to that'll fit this team and offense. So I feel like it, it, they're they're competing every day. It's it's hard to say now. It's so it, it'll be a great couple of weeks to 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 watch them to compete. Thank you. All right, now we'll go to you, uh, Gens. Please unmute. Uh, okay, I'm going to sort of play off the question you're just talking about the offense. Uh, is it too early to determine what the identity of this offense might be? Uh, I mean, obviously, in most cases, it's run first, but uh, you have two quarterbacks that can fling it. Do you uh, have any notion of how this offense might be defined as we move into October? No, I don't, actually, because like, like previous years, we've had really good backs, and I feel like with these backs, with Jake Funk, Fleet, uh, being the older guys, I feel like they, the coaches did a good job bringing in some young guys that can learn from them. And, and I feel like that room is going to be back to the top very soon. And I feel like they're not too far behind where they were now. So it, it, and, they're, and it's a pretty young room, if you ask me. So I feel like I, I don't know. I, I feel like the coach is going to have the option to do, do as he pleases for that week or whatever. So if he wants to throw it, we can throw it because I feel like we got a lot of strength outside. And if you need to run it, I feel like we can do that too. So. I, I could, really couldn't say now, but I hope I hope we have an even, pretty even split. Go to Jacob Steinberg. Hey, Jay Sean, thanks for joining us. You talked a little bit earlier about the excitement for you of just being back out there in practice, but I know it's a small sample size and it's only been one day. But have you noticed an added intensity and excitement at practice since everyone's gotten the pads back on? Yeah, definitely. It's always, especially with us having these non-padded practices, it gets a little chippy, and I like to talk trash, so I talk a little bit to the defense. Um, so they 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 have pretty happy to get get some pads on and actually be able to hit me and make contact because uh, uh, these last couple of weeks, I guess you could say I, I've been uh, getting lucky because they they we haven't had pads on. So and, and I I think it brings another a whole different aspect to the game because with no pads, it's like it's it's kind of like you just like you, you you're playing, but you're not really playing. So now that we get the thud and do all those type of things, I feel like it, it, it adds a little more to practice. It was a, it was great energy at practice yesterday with that being the first day of pads. Okay, for our last one, we'll go back to Lila. Hey, Sean, just you know, from what you've uh, you know seen in practice, just how do you kind of describe what stands out to you about uh, a Kevin Garrett? You said, well, I'm sorry, I can't hear. Uh, you know, how would you kind of describe the play of uh, Rakim Jarrett from what you've seen in practice? You know, what has stood out about him? That young guy, he, he's going to be special here. He, um, he's, he's explosive. He's, he's everything that, that pretty much we've seen from high school. I, very smooth, very sudden. Like, I, I don't know, he's, he's very good. And, I, and I, I can't wait to see him watch him grow. And I I'm, I'm feel like I'm lucky to, to be like an older guy in the room and be able to like be a guy that he could come to and if he needed something and, and help him out, I feel like he's gonna help our room get better and we're gonna help him. So I feel like he's a great addition to our to our receiver room. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Deshaun.